And now, if you want to do a cylinder, cylinders are also kind of tricky. So, just get your displace, uh, I mean, create your cylinder. And if you don't know the easy way to create a cylinder, there's a simple thing called the prefabs that come with hammer. They're really simple to use. Um, just create a brush. I'm going to create my other 64 by 64. It seems to be the easiest thing to work with. And just make the outline of it. And then under categories over here, you want primitives. And then object, cylinder. And now you have the choice for faces. I'm just going to do six faces. Really simple. And then just press enter. And you'll now have... A cylinder with however many faces you have now just remember whenever you use a cylinder you always must funk detail it because if you don't it will cut so many viz leaves it's bad and you just you don't want to do that that's bad mapping I'm a bit smaller I usually use these for handrails all right so now we have this cylinder kind of type thing um, now you just want to, again, copy it, make it bigger, usually about eight segments, and place it on the middle, and hollow it to two. Now you'll have this weird looking shape, and just make sure that you ungroup it, and you might have some unused faces that you're not going to use with the cylinder, so I'm going to delete mine, the, the, the end caps. And I'm going to extend the leftovers to the ground and to the top of the uh, object. And now you guessed it. You want to take your, uh, your face edit sheet, I mean your vertex tool, and you want to apply and you want to do this to the inside points for the vertexes. And then after you've done that, it's pretty simple again. You just you just want to apply black to the inside, and then you're you're pretty much done. That's pretty much all they can that you can do for cell shading. So really simple ability to give your map a cool effect, and I like it. I think it's very cool to do. No one, not many people do it because it's very time consuming. It's hard to do, but if you learn it, you can you can do some really cool stuff with this. But just make sure that you use the invis texture instead of no draw or something, because if you use no draw, it just it messes up for some reason. I couldn't exactly tell you why. Then dev texture detail. And then make it a funk illusionary. And then you'll see you have the cell shaded look. Which looks phenomenal, I think. I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to compile this. And then I'll see you in Counter-Strike. Alright, we're in Counter-Strike. I'm going to go ahead and load the map. Okay, and as soon as I join, you can see that the cylinder does have the cell shading from the from what we put on it. Now, you will have to make sure that you put it on all ends. I skip the top. Just make sure it's like two segments away, and then put it on all ends. If you look at it from the side, it looks fine, but from the top, it looks kind of bad because it breaks the illusion of the cell shading. Um, over here. The, the box is this is perfect. This is perfect cell shading. It's like it's it looks amazing. It looks great. You can knife the box. It doesn't cause collisions. Doesn't cast shadows from the cell shading. And the cylinder looks really nice too. So um, if you're gonna do this effect on a lot of brushes, make sure you do it right. Make sure all your vertex points are on grid. Otherwise, you can cause some errors. And uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys with any problems that you might have had, or if you just want to learn how to make cell shading stuff um thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe